Okay, welcome back to another video. We're going to kind of switch gears in this SQLite database series that we have going on. And today we're going to use Python to not only create a new SQLite database, but also how do we query a SQLite database in Python. So in the next couple videos, or however many I end up doing, we're going to do database manipulation in Python. And if that sounds cool, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future that you might find useful. And if you're new to this whole series in general, I have a playlist of all these videos from start to where we are now, so you can follow along. So to query and create a SQLite database in Python, we're going to use the SQLite 3 library that comes with Python. It's part of the Python standard library, so you don't have to worry about pip installing anything in order to use SQLite 3. It's there from the start. So if you remember, uh, we have a database file, a SQLite database file that I called test.db, and we'll connect to that here in a second and query a table inside of test.db. But let's just show how do I create a brand new SQLite database with Python. So the first thing I'm going to do is import SQLite 3. And then I'm going to create a connection. So connection is equal to SQLite 3. And of course, you can name connection whatever you want. Uh, that's just what I named it. SQLite 3.connect. And then the path to your SQLite database file. So in our case, it's going to be in the same directory here. So in quotes, I'll put this. And then whatever we want to name this, let's call this test2.db. And I'm going to preface this string with an R so it doesn't think that this backslash t is any special character. And now if we run this, pi SQLite, it'll take a second. If we go back to the file explorer, we now have a new database file called test2.db. So that is how you can create a new SQLite database with Python. So let's connect to our current one that we already have data in, and I'm just going to copy the path of this which actually I don't need to do because really I just need to change this from test2 to test, and that will connect it to our existing SQLite database. But how do we go about querying? Well, first we need to create something called a cursor. Now, if you don't know what a cursor is, you might have heard it if you worked with databases before. Uh, Wikipedia does a good job of defining it. A database cursor is a mechanism that enables traversal over the records in a database. Simple as that. Think of it as an object that we can use to query records in our database and do other things like inserts and such, but basically the cursor is the middleman. So we're going to create a new object called cursor, and that's going to be equal to connection dot cursor. And I'll go ahead and create another variable called SQL, and that's just going to be our SQL statement. So select all from our people table. And then to run this SQL statement, we can run cursor.execute and pass in that SQL statement. Okay, so I'm going to print out the results. So we'll print cursor.fetch all. Fetch all fetches everything that comes back from that SQL query. And now if we run this, you'll get to see what the data looks like that's being returned. And you can see it's a list of tuples. Each tuple is a single row that's returned from that SQL statement. So we have the first tuple as Mark, John, then we have Sally John, and then Tom Smith, so on and so forth. And so if I really wanted to loop through all of these, I can take this cursor.fetchall, I'll cut that out, and I'll say results is equal to cursor.fetchall, and then for result in results, Let's print result and then the second item in the tuple, which is the first name, I believe, um, and that's going to be index one. So it's going to loop through each tuple that's returned from the SQL query, and it's going to print out the second index of each tuple, which is index one, right? Because index zero would be the IDs. So now if we just clear this and run it again, we're printing out all the names. I did notice earlier when we were printing out everything, if we scroll back up, uh, Sally for some, or not Sally, Susan for some reason has a new line. I don't know how that happened. I don't remember putting that in there on purpose. So I must have just added it by accident, but that's why we see a new line right here. But this is an example of not only how do we create a brand new SQLite database in Python, but how do we also query an existing database table? 
So in our next video, uh, we're going to create a new table in Python. So stay tuned for that. And thanks so much for watching.